Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about the uh, cross hands in um, practical Wing Chun, uh, also known as uh, Gao Ta's Hao. So uh, the cross hands, at other styles, is more of a, a marking, so you will mark the uh, center line, um, uh, but is not so much used as a move. Uh, in practical Wing Chun it's more used uh, as a move and also as a reference point. So we'll first talk about the reference point, and this, this mostly we're going to talk about the upper um, cross hands. Uh, so the upper cross hands, um, in the form, uh, in some styles of form, we go straight forward. Other styles go down and then forward again like this. But basically, the uh, position is the left over right. Palms facing up, fingers in line with the chin, fingertips in line with the chin. Thumb is out. In some styles, they have the thumb in, but we have it more relaxed, out like this. And the elbows are in line with what we call the braces line, round about where the, the nipples are, basically. So um, the elbow is also at 135 degrees, like this, and the elbow is as low as possible. Okay, and so there are many reasons why it's designed in this way. Uh, primarily so that you can use the low elbow to put pressure on your opponent's arm, basically like that. Um, and almost all defensive actions where we are facing our opponent will end with our forearm in this position. So it may be that our palm is facing down, as in, say, uh, uh, this kind of action, or maybe our palm is facing to the side, as in a thumb sao, um, or in this one, we're, we're facing up. So it's really where the move ends. So for example, hop, we come here, we end in that position. The gao tai itself, we're going forward like this. Hoi, we're coming down, uh, down that, that um, line, but our palm's facing down at the end. But we're always ending pretty much Apart from the chump kill, where the elbow's a bit further out, we're pretty much ending in that gal tars out position. Okay, so this is the reference point version of the, the gal tars out. Now, the other reason a lot of people say, okay, you don't want to cross your hands because you're going to get trapped. If you put your hands up like this, you're going to get trapped, which is absolutely true if you end up with the punch coming down the middle like this. If your punch ends up coming down the middle like that, you can get trapped very easily, okay? However, if you end up what we call double outside, so that is to say someone punches right punch like this, if I use my left hand, I take them, I'm outside their, their arm, and then I come under my own arm, now I'm what's called double outside. Now why is double outside good? Double outside is good because I can now use the hand that's underneath to get on the diagonal. That's to say right hand um, going to their right hand. Okay, and this is a very good position to be in because if I go into lap or something like that, then their backhand is just is there for me to to use very easily. So one, two, two of their punches, I can basically go lap da, and then I can hit them again with the second the second punch that they're coming in. So getting on that diagonal outside again. Or if, you, if I don't use the hand, if I use something like teal or something, so I go gal ta, and then I go into teal, now I'm trapping two with one because my front hand is using the forearm on their right arm, and now I've got the hand facing their second hand, so their left hand, which is ready to punch. And then I, I can basically, I'm not so much trapping two with one, but I'm trapping the first one and my hand is just waiting there close by to that second punch that's coming so as soon as it comes bang I do something and then I've essentially safely nullified two of their strikes okay like that so as I was saying you can either come forward into it you can also do one hand as well one hand's very common you can be same side outside here you can go diagonal outside here these are getting a little bit more variations but the main thing to remember with the cross hands is number one that we have the reference point for where a lot of our frontal defensive moves finish okay and number two is that we use it to get on the diagonal outside. Okay, the other ways you can also do pack, you can pack their arm. So again, I'm packing their right arm, bringing it across, then getting diagonal outside like that. But a uh, very common way is that we cross and then we open. And by crossing and opening um, outside of their arm, so again, not with their hand in between, 
outside their arm and then opening and now diagonal outside so now right hand outside that that right arm you can of course be inside um, you can even be inside with the gal's house out okay we often they you know, right punch I will come with this hand come over and then high like that so it's just bringing that one is diagonal inside so I'm actually bringing that right punch slightly to, to the side like that so that I can then come under and hit but usually what we're doing is we are taking that right punch with our left hand we're coming underneath with our other one and then we're going into something it can be gum can be hoi can be uh, a teal like i said before so uh, that's the second uh, most important thing about the cross hands is that it allows us to get on the diagonal outside via crossing and then uncrossing if you have any questions um, put them below and i'll, I'll do my best to answer them